Time for a check of your weather. Time to wake up in Summer Bay with Eddie, or as we know, at Palm Beach. What a spot to kick off your day, Eddie. Oh, welcome back, Verettes, and welcome to Summer Bay. We're here with local legend, Al Stewart, Yay! otherwise known as Ray Mar, or Ray Mar, otherwise known as Al Stewart. <laughs> Good morning to you, Ray. Hi, what yeah. an office you have here. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, we've made a few <laughs> renovations over the years, but uh, <laughs> God did a pretty good job originally. It certainly yeah. did. How, how often do you film down here at Palm Beach? Oh, the, the show's here uh, at least two days a week, sometimes three. Um, as actors, it depends on how much of your storyline involves yeah, this particular right. location. Um, how many episodes are you filming today? Is it just one episode or lots of little ep you know, lots of bits of other episodes? Uh, we'll be filming bits of up to five episodes, yeah. Uh, uh, bits of up to five episodes. Yeah. How do you keep track of what your character's doing after so many storylines over 28 years? Yeah, look, normally I just open my mouth and point to the breeze, let it blow my tongue around and hope the right things come out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking of fantastic sayings like that. Who makes up the sayings? Stone the Flaming Crows and oh, the rest of it. Look, Flaming was always in the original, uh, the original scripts, but the other expressions uh, are certainly not my originals. I've put them in there, but they're not my originals. I've stolen them. One, uh, Stone the Flaming Crows, I stole from a, a stock and station agent in uh, Duran Bandy, a fabulous oh, town in the southwest of Queensland. <laughs> a, a lot of the others have been stolen from rugby club dressing rooms over the years, um, <laughs> about 300 years ago when I was of the right age. I played a bit of rugby, so um, yeah, a lot of them are stolen from oh, there. Wonderful. Can we have a down the barrel Stone the Flaming Crows? Let's have a look at the weather. Stone the flaming crows. Let's have a look at the weather, and I hope it's better than last week. <laughs> Eight years ago, when they asked you to film a pilot for a soap called Home and Away, how long did you think it would last for? Oh, I thought the pilot would get done, <laughs> <laughs> and then nothing had happened. But um, you know, most pilots crash and burn, and I sort of thought, yeah, I've got a gap between two shows. I'll do this. And then a minute later, they said, look, that thing's going to series. And I thought, oh, OK, that'll be three months' work, maybe, with a bit of luck. And, uh, yeah, 28 years on. 28 mm. years on. Well, we love having you as part of Summer <laughs> Bay. We love seeing you on your tellies every night. Um, we have more of the Home and Away stars coming up throughout the show. Oh, oh, that's cool. great, Eddie. Great I too. can't wait yeah. to, to talk to Ray again off camera and find out all the sayings he learnt in footy room, footy change rooms that <laughs> yeah. can't be yeah. used <laughs> in Summer yeah. Bay. They don't all make it to You might want to know all of them. them. I bet they <laughs> are interesting <laughs> and blue. Yeah, and it's good to talk to him at Couple of weeks after the World Cup, he's conscious now. Yeah. So he is a mad rugby fan. Can almost smile again. Yeah, exactly. All right, mate. Go on your right. Now, Eddie's down at Summer Bay this morning. Oh, look, Sam, from the very first moment I saw you, um, <laughs> there was such emotion. I was walking on air <clears throat> just to know, uh, just to know uh, you were there. Uh, you were there. Um, also, such emotion involved with this bloke here. Uh, that were the lyrics, by the way, from Home and Away. Yeah, we got it. Catch that. That's the best Thanks acting I can do. Like What's going on with this up. emotional scene here? You look uh, distraught. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of emotions in the bay today, Alex Snow, Tensions otherwise known as Matt. Tensions are always Tensions running high here. Low. Tell us what's going on with your character at the moment. Uh, I have a bit of unrequited love going on. No, there's always a bit of unrequited and, uh, love in the bay, <laughs> isn't there? Sucks. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just trying to get over that, I guess. <laughs> and that's, that's the reason for the distant stares and the right, sand on the table. That's what you do when that you have thing? unrequited love. Yeah, have you just kind of have... Yeah. It's sand on the table. What you do. Yeah. And it helps. Okay. It helps, all right. It's, so it's, the the pain. it's emotional. It's like putting your emotions like the, like, like, like the sands of time. It is a food so serving area. You're right, Sam. Let's clear that up before they try serving some food to the diner. Tell us, how do you learn all your lines? Uh, well, Eddie, sometimes I don't even know myself. Yeah, I think right. I, I love to just um, just impro on yeah. the day. Directors hate it, but just kind of make, <laughs> make my do. own scenes up. Um, maybe one day Matt isn't doesn't have unrequited love. Who knows? You know, it's just, <laughs> suddenly she turns around and falls in love with you. Every yeah, time. exactly yeah. right. <laughs> um, look, there's so many crew involved. Tell us the logistics quickly around how many people are involved in actually making the show. Ah, uh, just heaps. There's about probably about like 50 people on set uh, every day and, and at the studio as well and so it's a whole team effort and, and we wouldn't be able to do what we did without the crew and without everyone on board because we film like an episode a day yeah, so it's, it's really it's fast paced. extraordinary the production and also they're not only doing that but they're filming in advance so seven months down the track they're filming episodes of storylines we can't talk about now but it involves yeah Sand on the this. table. Um, as we have a look at the <laughs> you need a couple of milkshakes wouldn't go astray down here at the surf club at the moment. I just um, wanted to say that that was impressive 
how you read that. I mean, did I you mean, did you learn no, that last no, night? No, I memorised all of that. Yeah, that's what I mean. I didn't I mean, read it. Well, no, 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 no yeah. memorised it. It was like a monologue. <laughs> Stop and I, giving away my secret. <laughs> Stop giving away yours. Uh, see you in half an hour, guys. Okay. I'm right. worried. I'm Thank never eating ready. the Summer Bay Diner again with all that sand on the table. Do you know how many dogs do in that? That'll give you unrequited love. No. <laughs> Now, time for a check on today's national forecast. Uh, Eddie is far and away, at home and away, at Summer Bay this morning for our weather. <laughs> we like certainly are, Brent. Uh, we are in the bay here, right in front of the surf club, uh, the Summer Bay Surf Club here. And look who it is. Hello. <sighs> Hey. Q. Nice Make that work. Nice <laughs> um, your acting was better than mine, I think. Oh, I don't know about I that. missed my Q. You missed your Q. Anyway, come on in, Kyle. Uh, tell us um, your motivation today. What's going yeah. on with your outfit, uh, your emotions, yep. the scene? Bit of some heavy emotional running today. Yep, so, right. uh, yeah, he's uh, he's a bit stressed out, his old Nate Cooper. So he's legging it down the beach where he meets, uh, meets up with Alf. Yep. He's going to shed some knowledge for him. Yes, yeah. share, <laughs> share the wise words that Indeed. Alf often does here in the Bay. What do you think the craziest storyline you've had is? Craziest storyline? It's, it's got to be Nate and Sophie, yeah. surely. Uh, yeah, what a relationship that was. <laughs> Slightly um, turbulent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, she tried to, you know, burn him alive, um, which is, is a bit intense. Great, but yeah. uh, Hard to recover from Hard that, to really, recover, you know, hard to come back from that. But great fun <laughs> and great working with Bridget. She did an awesome job and, uh, yeah, good memories. Oh, I'm going to ask you what your British relatives think of you being on Home and Away. Uh, first, let's have a look at okay. the weather. Sweet. <laughs> Family are from the UK, half are from New Zealand. What do they think of you being on such an iconic Australian show? Uh, they love it. I mean, that's what they tell me anyway. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, I get, you know, uh, good feedback from them. And, um, yeah, it's huge in New Zealand and huge in the UK as well. In so. fact, you get busloads of people who do the tour of Summer we Bay. We do. Here. Summer Bay tours. We'll be in the middle of a scene and the bus will arrive and people will be pointing at us laughing. So it's, uh, it's all good value. It's good fun and people come and watch and, yeah, they love it. So. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And it's very, very quickly uh, you're back in love with Ricky uh, taking care of the baby Casey yep it's a lot to take on for a young man it is a lot young but promising doctor hey look Nate he can handle it you know he's got these uh, these bases covered so uh, I mean if he's not kayaking he's looking after case emotional so kayaking emotional running there's a lot going on there's in the base so today, much guys. To uh, see you in yep. <laughs> yep. Well, she's been singing the song for us this morning for home and away so Eddie is back at the beach in amongst the action for take seven <laughs> Yeah, look, frankly, Barrett, I'm shocked and a little bit emotional um, that Perfect I haven't been life. asked to be in the show. Yeah, I know. Um, if I only had a love triangle going on, yeah. I think I might actually uh, have a role on the show, but I'm, that is not to be. Um, behind us, guys, they're filming, or, or just about to film, they take uh, us a behind scene the scenes. featuring uh, Alf. But this is behind the scenes. We are basically almost in a scene, but not quite. We're joined, though, by Shane and Matt, John and VJ. How many people, by the way, Shane, just call you John in the street? Oh, everybody. Every, they still call me Brendan, as a matter of fact. <laughs> they they oh, call me John Brandon. every single day. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but I answer to it. Your name's not John? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. this is getting That's awkward. cute, but, you know. <laughs> so, Matt, you're in a love triangle at the moment. Yes. No, I'm not. Show. Yeah, oh, right. It's been a, John. been a couple of years shame. now. Um, We've sort of been trying to work out the kinks, but yeah, hopefully it's... <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so to speak. It must be amazing for you guys, especially as a young actor, to go oh, from, um, you. you know, <laughs> knowing... Not like uh, you, no one experience. knowing your name or your face to being kind of globally known. I don't think anyone still knows my name or my face, so <laughs> we'll, I'll let you know how do. it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what an office you guys get to work in. Have you got a surf report for us today? A surf report? Yes, I think the surf report today is officially... It's terrible. It's rubbish. Pretty, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, not that I'm a real surfer, because the, the <laughs> This keeps falling out of my drink. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's very good and I wouldn't come to Palmy today. And although it's a perfect day in Palmy weather-wise, you guys have to pretend it's summer pretty much all year round, don't you? Even in August when it's raining and the, and, and the westerlies are blowing into our thin clothing. Yeah, excellent. Look, it's been so much fun uh, down at the Bay. We're going to get a few more questions in after the forecast.